my name is Paul Myers. I spoke to somebody on the phone the other day. My, I don't remember exactly who it was. My fault. I should have wrote it down. But I wanted to give you three or four different things that you guys can do right now to get more of the phone calls that I know you're missing online. It's, I can easily tell it based on the search patterns, based on the amount of search that's happening, and based on how you guys are um, landing on the pages for Google. So um, I wanted to give you three or four quick tips that you guys can implement right now. This isn't about poking a hole in your current strategy or in your website. It's about giving you kind of value in advance and giving you some opportunities to look at so you guys can get the majority of the phone calls coming in in your market. So let's just look at that market now and, and, and we'll see. So Thunder Bay, um, searching for these keywords, kitchen cabinets, cabinets, kitchen design, kitchen renovations, and let's say residential millwork just those five or six keywords they're bringing in last uh, June they brought in 2880 for total search for 1500 of that was mobile so that brings me to making sure that your site is mobile friendly but we know that there's a lot of search happening meaning there's a lot of phone calls taking place so when I look to uh, the Google's mobile friendly test tool uh, it says your page is mobile friendly the only thing I would do here is at the very top, I would make sure to have the phone number. It's all about user experience. It's all about guest experience. So you want to make sure when someone lands on your site mobile, make it as simple as possible for them to hit the button and call you. I noticed it's down here at the bottom. I can't see it there. Let me just go to your website. Um, ideal. Uh, let's just inspect it. Let's look at your site like it was on an iPhone 10 and I scroll here, scroll here, there's the number there. Uh, but you wanna make sure that this number is along the top. Plus you're also hosting with the yellow pages and I would absolutely build out this site on your own so that you guys can own it and control it because these guys will change certain things over time and force you to keep paying more and more and more and not doing nothing generally in the back end. Um, we do a lot of stuff on an ongoing basis to help clients, but. Anyways, let's just look at this. The first number one thing that Google will tell you uh, is the steps to a Google friendly site is this one sentence right here says it all. Provide high quality content on your pages, especially your homepage. This is the single most important thing to do. So if I come back here to your page, uh, there's less than 500 words on here. Uh, if I do a command F on a Mac and I just search cabinets, you have one keyword here with cabinets on it. If we search kitchen, uh, we have nine words on here um, and, and so on. But what we're saying here is you need to have probably 1,500 or 2,000 words on this page. Let me show you a site we've done locally that ranks extremely well. This is uh, Dowdle Cabinets. So you'll be able to see here that words and aesthetics can really be mixed and married between the two. Okay, so we have a lot of words on this site, a lot of uh, cool sliders and cool photos, but look at the words. So Google reads words. In order for you to be um, ranked number one or number two, Google needs to know without a doubt that you are the most authoritative, relevant search query possible when someone's searching for kitchen design. They only have less than a second to do it. So they need you to tell them what you're all about. And when you come to your site, you're not giving them enough detail here for them to know exactly what we're about. So the number one thing you wanna do is you wanna add more content to this site. You wanna add a blog page and blog about different things once a week. You wanna add a frequently asked questions page for voice search. These are all the things that you gotta be doing if you want to get the majority of these search calls. So the first thing is content. The second thing is uh, citations. A citation is your business name, address and phone number, cited all over the web in different directories like 411, City Search, Yelp, Facebook, Foursquare. Those are citations. Currently, when I look at some of your competitors, uh, Tony's has 19 citations, Direct Cab is 25. Inspired Cabinets 10, Dust to Dawn 31, Memorial 29, and you guys at 27. It's fairly straightforward to go into this tool. Uh, we pay for this tool, but you can go into this tool 
and you can um, easily add more citations. The more citations you have, the better chance you'll have at showing up in Google's map deck. One of the most important features on search is when people search for your product and service, um, this is the Google Knowledge Panel, but you want to make sure that when they search for, let's say, uh, cabinets in Thunder Bay, that you guys show up in this box. And the, and the way to, to um, help that is to get more citations. So citations are um, immensely powerful, and it's something that we have to take a look at doing and doing more of. Um, then I take a look at each powerful domain. So I look at Tony's and I see that they don't have much power. Uh, direct cabinets doesn't have much power. Power in the sense of backlinks and referring domains. Um, inspired cabinetry, a little bit more. Uh, ideal cabinetry, uh, ideal kitchen center and designs, uh, you know, not very much. So the more backlinks we have, and a backlink is a, a link from one website to yours that passes the power to your site and it helps you rank. That's what you need more of. And you want to have as many of those as possible so that you can dominate in the, in the search um, queries, okay? When I take a look at the search, for example, this is what we call an incognito window. You can see that right here, incognito. And it is, I'm not logged in, which means none of my previous searches will have a bearing on what I'm about to show you. And then I use a tool to assimilate the keyword, custom cabinetry, Thunder Bay, and I've used it for a few different keywords. Well, let's see where you guys are ranking. So if we use custom cabinetry, it knows that I'm searching in Thunder Bay. I don't see you guys here. And let's see if we see, uh, your domain is Ideal Kitchens. Let's see if we can see uh, Ideal Kitchens here. Yeah, so it's not there for custom cabinetry. Bathroom renovations, which you may or may not do, it's not here. Don't see you guys here as well. So you're not on the first page. Kitchen cabinets. A lot of guys running paid ads. That's another great strategy we can help you with. Ideal, okay, you're here finally in the map pack. That's what we want. And then let's see if we rank. Because that's really, no, we're not even ranking for that. So even though you have kitchen cabinets in your uh, domain name, um, uh, no, in, in your, on your website, it's, not, uh, it's, not, it's still not ranking out very well at all. Let's look to millwork. I don't know. Let's skip millwork. Let's just look at cabinets. Cabinets. We're not here. Tony's cabinets. And I don't see you here at all. No. So organically, you're not ranking very well. And the organics is anything under the map deck. These are free, it's organic, it happens naturally, uh, but you're not ranking there. And again, that's primarily because there's no content on this page. What you wanna do is you wanna build out content so you have enough keywords on here so as soon as someone searches for cabinets or kitchens or whatever that looks like, Google knows by the content of your site Wow, you guys are the authoritative link. Let's give the search query this result, okay? Again, they have less than a second to do that. So it's important to make sure that these little things are done. Another thing I looked at too, and I think it's um, right here, is this is a citation that you haven't claimed yet. You see here where it says own this business right here? Google scraped the internet and found the listing and created a GMB listing, a Google My Business listing. But you haven't raised your hand to tell Google that, hey, I exist, I'm here, I own it. So you wanna come in and claim this listing. Because once you claim the listing, there's some magic that happens, especially in the background, where you can go in and add things for posting, for info, for 360 photos, interior, exterior, for imagery, for descriptions and for categories, but you can't do that when you don't own it. So you gotta go in and do that because you wanna stack the deck in your favor. Remember, I've showed you here a Google search, almost 3,000 words, uh, keywords a month for your business are being searched for just in Thunder Bay. 
So you're missing a great deal of that search because you're just not optimized well enough. So there's a few things I've showed you there. Um, hopefully you can um, appreciate the value I've showed you here. Um, you guys can do this yourself, but generally what we find is business owners are busy running their own businesses and doing their own things. Um, so they always kind of generally need a hand. I'm here for that. This is what we do. We do this on a day-to-day -day basis. We help clients get more business, get more sales, and we help them get their phone to ring. So my name is Paul Myers with Clark Communications. We're a short trip down the road from you guys. Well, we're in North Bay. Well, we use Zoom or Skype, um, and it can we can really pull together a pretty cool campaign. So I hope you found this uh, um, informative at, at least and value at best. Again, Paul Myers, Clark Communications. Thank you. Bye-bye.